Hi there, Andy from Andy Bell Photography here and today we're going to be looking at the latest update to Topaz Sharpen AI. It's already been my favourite uh, sharpening program for a long time and today I'm going to throw it a difficult challenge, a uh, picture that I've never ever managed to get properly sharp and we're going to be using a couple of its new features which we'll look at as we go through this quick demonstration. So here's a picture I took in 2004 in the UK Lake District. I'm in Britain's remotest, or England's remotest valley at this time. And uh, we visited on a very stormy day. And here we are halfway up a mountain. And I set up the tripod and took this picture. But when you look at it a bit closer, zoom into it, it's not really sharp and I've never really managed to get it sharp so I thought let's see what the new Topaz Sharpen AI can do so let's op open it up in, in Sharpen AI I've already preloaded it because I wanted to see what it could do and I've got everything on automatic at the moment one of the great things that Topaz has is this ability to do things automatically now if you notice the first thing it said down here is that it thinks this is an image that needs to be stabilized rather than just simply sharpened and thinking back that's a long time ago 16 years ago that I took this picture it was a very very windy day I had a good tripod but it wasn't too bright and it's a fairly slow shutter speed so there's always a chance of a, a bit of motion blur in this just from the wind blowing the tripod around a bit so I've already got Topaz to do the sharpening and if I drag the comparison tool across you watch the difference so there we are and there it is after it's done its work now this is totally in automatic mode I've adjusted nothing as I move the slider the difference is well simply the best I've ever seen this picture looking and it has taken away the little bit of motion blur now I've heard people or seen people say uh, on Instagram and other places that that's not possible well here you are it is possible and Topaz has achieved that there's another nice feature that this new version of Topaz has and that's its ability to put a mask on a picture because sometimes you don't want to sharpen all of it sometimes you want to include just a small area or sometimes you may want to exclude a small area and the way you do that is by painting a mask so if we go to the mask button and we can see that there's this automatic option find objects so I'm just going to click that and there you are it's found us okay the mask isn't perfect but it's not terrible I can easily just add a little more in and there we are we've now got masked and the difference now is that it's only us that are sharpened the rest of the picture remains as it was now you may not want that but it's very powerful if you do want it because sometimes when you've taken the picture of a person you might want to sharpen them a little bit but you don't want the background to be sharpened as well because you want the person to be the subject of the picture so that's very very powerful so that's basically these two new features that it will automatically detect which sharpening mode to use whether to sharpen it to stabilize it or to improve the focus and it will let you create an automatic mask to isolate your subjects it's very very useful and you can see the results speak for themselves as I say this picture has now become sharp enough for me to consider using whereas before it was just something that was in my archives so Topaz have released this as a free upgrade for people who already have um, Sharpen AI and they've got Sharpen AI on special offer until I think the first week in August so it's certainly worth checking it out now and see what it can do for your images. So I'm Andy Bell from Andy Bell Photography. You can go to my blog and get these 
uh, the original pictures for this so you can see the before and after in a better resolution and I'd encourage you to pop over to my blog andybellphotography.com forward slash blog to see the posts and to look at the pictures yourself. Thank you for your time, I look forward to speaking to you again soon.